Within the area of metaphysical investigation, the philosophy of mind is a subject that is both fascinating and complex, as it dives into the fundamental aspects of consciousness and identity. The purpose of this discourse is to create an understanding that sheds light on the dynamic relationship that exists between the mind, self-awareness, and the nature of reality. In this extensive video, we embark on an intellectual trip to investigate the tremendous significance of the philosophy of mind to the worlds of consciousness and identity. We do this by unraveling the numerous strands that make up this philosophy and putting light on the consequences that it has. Comprehending the philosophy of the individual mind. In its most fundamental form, the philosophy of mind investigates the underlying nature of the mind, as well as its relationship with the body, the external world, and the complex linkages that are responsible for the development of human awareness. This investigation digs into the opposing views of monism, which aims to establish a unifying principle that embraces both the mental and the physical realms, and dualism, which proposes a divide between the mental and the physical realms. Through an examination of various points of view, we can acquire significant comprehension of the conceptual framework that is responsible for shaping our knowledge of consciousness and identity. The Mind-Body Problem and the concept of consciousness. The mind-body dilemma is a fascinating mystery that is believed to be at the heart of the philosophy of mind philosophy. To solve this profound mystery, we need to figure out the mechanisms that are responsible for the formation of consciousness from the physical processes that occur in the brain. We investigate many theories, including substance dualism, property dualism, and physicalism, to delve into the complex layers of brain networks and cognitive processes that are responsible for the development of self-awareness among individuals. An essential component in gaining an understanding of the mysterious nature of consciousness is the mind-body dilemma, which is characterized by a complex web of contentious philosophical discussions. The concepts of identity, self, and personal identity. Philosophical investigations about the nature of selfhood and personal continuity are made possible by the convergence of the philosophy of mind with concerns of identification, which opens the door to fascinating questions. We attempt to disentangle the ties that bind us throughout time and experiences by examining them through the lenses of psychological continuity, physiological identity, and narrative identity. Because of this exploration, we are prompted to ponder the cohesive force that is responsible for preserving a feeling of identity amid the constantly shifting panorama of our conscious life. Implications for contemporary psychology and science to consider. The philosophy of mind expands its sphere of influence into the fields of neuroscience and psychology in a world that is becoming more and more influenced by the growth of scientific knowledge. By combining philosophical reflections with empirical investigation, we are nearing the point when we will be able to unravel the complex tapestry that is consciousness. The investigation of the nature of the mind provides us with a philosophical ally in the process of gaining knowledge of brain plasticity, cognitive processes, and the neurological correlates of consciousness. Continuing forth with the journey of inquiry, as we make our way through the complex landscape of the philosophy of mind, our understanding of the profound relationship that exists between awareness and identity grows deeper. By combining philosophical reflection, scientific investigation, and the thoughts of great minds throughout history, we can pave the way toward a more comprehensive understanding of what it is to be conscious and to have a sense of self that is consistent with who we are. The philosophy of mind is a subfield of philosophy that examines the nature of the mind as well as its relationship to the body and the world outside of it. In the field of philosophy of mind, the mind-body problem is considered to be a paradigmatic issue. However, the field also addresses several other concerns, including the difficult problem of consciousness and the nature of certain mental experiences. Studies are conducted on a variety of aspects of the mind, including mental events, mental functions, mental properties, consciousness, and its neural correlates, the ontology of the mind, the nature of cognition and thought, and the relationship between the mind and the body. Both monism and dualism are considered to be the two primary schools of thought regarding the mind-body problem. Nevertheless, there are complex perspectives that have emerged that do not cleanly fall into either of these categories. During the 17th century, Rene Descartes is credited with introducing the concept of dualism into the realm of Western philosophy, at the same time as property dualists hold that the mind is a collection of independent qualities that emerge from and cannot be reduced to the brain, substance dualists such as Descartes, argued that the mind is an independently existing substance. 
On the other hand, property dualists maintain that the mind is not a distinct substance. The monist position asserts that the mind and the body are not dependent substances, but rather distinct entities that cannot be differentiated from one another. Barrich Spinoza, a rationalist who lived in the 17th century, was a proponent of this viewpoint. Physicalists contend that the only entities that exist are those that are postulated by physical theory and that mental processes will eventually be explained in terms of these entities as physical theory continues to develop. There are several different perspectives that physicalists hold regarding the possibility of reducing mental properties to physical properties, many of whom adopt property dualisms that are compatible with one another. There is still a lack of clarity on the ontological character of such mental properties. It is idealists are people who believe that the mind is the only thing that exists and that the world outside of the mind is either the mind itself or an illusion that the mind is constructed over time. Neutral monists such as Ernst Mack and William James argued that events in the world can be thought of as either mental, psychological, or physical depending on the network of relationships into which they enter, and dual aspect monists such as Spinoza adhere to the position that there is some other neutral substance, and that both matter and mind are properties of this unknown substance. The most common monisms in the 20th and 21st centuries have all been versions of physicalism. These stances include behaviorism, the type identity theory, anomalous monism, and functionalism. The majority of contemporary philosophers of mind adhere to either a reductive physicalist or a non-reductive physicalist position, and they all maintain, in their unique ways, that the mind is not something that exists independently from the body. These techniques have been extremely significant in the sciences, especially in the domains of sociobiology, computer science specifically, artificial intelligence, evolutionary psychology, and the various neuroscience. Reductive physicalists argue that all mental states and attributes will eventually be explained by scientific descriptions of physiological processes and states. Even though the mind is not a distinct substance, non-reductive physicalists contend that mental properties supervene on physical properties. They also contend that the predicates and vocabulary that are utilized in mental descriptions and explanations are indispensable and cannot be reduced to the language and lower-level explanations of physical science. While the ongoing advancement of neuroscientific knowledge has helped to shed light on some of these problems, it is important to note that they are not yet solved. Modern philosophers of mind continue to investigate how the subjective aspects and the intentionality of mental states and attributes may be described in naturalistic terms. Some contemporary philosophers have argued that the classic concept of substance dualism needs to be supported because of the issues that are associated with physicalist models of the mind. It is possible to rationally address issues, such as the interaction of mind and body, when seen from this perspective, which demonstrates that this theory is consistent. In conclusion, the philosophy of mind serves as a guiding light for intellectual inquiry pointing us in the direction of a more profound comprehension of the complex relationship that exists between consciousness and identity. Through the investigation of its nuances, we can solve the secrets that create our existence. This presents us with a significant chance to deepen our understanding of the human experience. This discourse, which spans the realms of philosophy, science, and introspection, prepares the way for a more enlightened examination of the fabric of the mind and its significance for consciousness and identity. Specifically, this discourse focuses on consciousness and identity. Thank you for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe. See you later.